the Craze Spartan. Slayer. Hey everybody, Craze Spartan here, and today I got some gameplay here for you on Halo Reach. Now, if you guys remember some of this, but I have been actually playing just about every Halo these days. I've been going on the Master Chief Collection, playing uh, every single one. I've been, of course, playing Halo 5, and I've even been throwing in the old Reach. Um, and I'm bringing you this gameplay here in particular because, uh, as you can see, my partner there... <laughs> gotcha, bud. <laughs> um, my partner there is actually AFK, and he's AFK for a little bit. And my other two teammates have quit out the old split screen, quitter screen, you know, that type of thing. And uh, this match actually, I think, went fairly well. Just kind of a spoiler, we, we actually didn't win the match. But uh, two on four, and they're all using jetpacks, and I hate the jetpack. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I hate the jetpack. Um, so anytime I'm, like, Destroying some jetpackers. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like sharing that. Uh, <laughs> so that's why you're seeing this gameplay. But it was actually a second reason is I wanted to talk about the progression system. And in my opinion, Halo Reach's progression system was almost perfect. I think it was pretty close to what I would consider a perfect progression system. So let's talk about Halo 5's progression system and why I don't particularly care for that. Now, Halo 5's progression um, is unlimited. Um, you've got your Spartan rank, and it keeps going up and up and up, as you see my AFK partner. Um, AFK partner there. But the progression, he, it keeps going up. There's no stop to it. But what do you get for progressing? That's what I'm asking. Uh, you, what do you get is pretty much nothing. Um, you get a random generated uh, pack and at the um, everything except the zero and five levels so uh, you get a bronze pack and then at the zero and five levels you get a silver pack and it's all random it's like yay i got random stuff um and it's not even uh like permanent unlockables it's just like random stuff it's like so that's why i'm saying the progression system in halo 5 is pretty much boring there's not much there uh, to really make you want to come back and play some more. Now, jump over to Halo 4. Now, the Halo 4's was better. However, it had a severe problem. Um, its progression system, you as you ranked up through 120, um, you kept going and you kept going, and you unlock specific things. You unlock weapons. Well, there is a ninja fail. I thought he was going to run through there, but yeah, he didn't. But, <laughs> but anyways... Uh, you, you unlock stuff throughout the entire time. Uh, weapons, armor sets, etc, etc. So there was that. You had that. You had specific things you were kind of looking for. But still, um, it wasn't all that great of a progression system. Because it was limited at the Spartan rank. I believe it was 120. It's been a while. And to get to 120, it took me... And I wasn't playing like every day. I had a full-time job, etc., etc. You know, that type of thing. And I maxed out at 120. Uh, yeah, I got totally assassinated there. <laughs> I maxed out at 120 um, just over a month. And I wasn't even trying all that hard. Um, and then you were done. <clears throat> and that completely nullified nullified all the challenge system. The challenge system was completely worthless at that point. Why would you complete challenges? Some of you may not even remember the challenges because it was just that uh, insignificant in Halo 4. So it was better because you got more stuff, uh, more specific things, you work towards stuff. Uh, however, it was extremely limited. Extremely. Because that by the end of a month you were done. And the progression system was pointless. <clears throat> now, on to what I said. Uh, going to go jump to Halo 3 real quick. Um, Halo 3 did also have a progression system right alongside their ranking system. Um, what many people don't remember is that each rank or each playlist had its own 
uh, ranking system, own, own progression system. So when you jumped into, say, Team Doubles, and you saw that there was a, a private or a major or, you know, whatever it was, you knew about how much uh, experience that person had in that playlist. Oh, look at that snipe. Loved it. <laughs> it was very specific to each playlist, and that's what I really enjoyed. Um, and it went up to a general, five-star general, I believe it was. I mean, I never acquired, just so you know. But each each system or each playlist had its own rank. Now, what did you get out of that? Pretty much nothing other than the prestige of earning that rank in that playlist, which in itself is actually pretty awesome because it does show uh, show off uh, some of that fun stuff that you guys have put into, put some time into each playlist. And I personally liked all the military ranks. I don't care for the Spartan rank one, Spartan rank two. I like the military rank because that's actually a little bit more fun for me. You know, maybe it's just because I was um, in the military back in the day. And, no, I thought I was going to do that, but the good old jetpack. I was actually going to stop and jump backwards and see if I couldn't ninja him. But uh, jetpack, <laughs> you got to love it. And that's uh, basically what I was saying there about uh, well, what it was, is that that was fun for me to to watch that level go up in each playlist. Now, like you said, it was very sufficient. You could play for quite a while and on each playlist, and you would it takes some time to get up to that max level of uh, general, and that's what I really liked about Halo 3. Now, Halo Reach, Halo Reach, like I said, was almost perfect. <clears throat> It had your military ranks, which I absolutely loved, and you earned credit points, and you could buy some of these awesome armor mods. So, and you could choose what you bought. You could, and I remember this. People saved up all the way, like from the beginning, so they could buy the um, uh, the armor effect, the one I'm actually wearing right now, which is the lightning one, uh, elemental or whatever they called it at the time, and. Uh, they, they would buy that first because that was like so expensive and then you saw it and it was like oh wow that's actually pretty cool and you saw it all around and um, you know they earned that they earned that big time because that was really hard to get to it took a lot of matches and a lot of time to get to it um, and that's where Halo Reach was actually really awesome it's just, you, look at that one of my favorite medals of all time. Hey, three for three. Put that back in. Revenge. <laughs> Look at that DMR bloom. It's the best. <laughs> um, but anyways, like I was saying, that's what I thought Halo Reach did really well. And the challenges, because it took so long to rank up, uh, the challenges were relevant throughout the entire game. Um, now, I love the challenges. You go into the campaign, you can go into firefight and offer different ways to play the game. And it really was really rewarding to take the time and do that because it really changed up your gameplay a lot of times. Um, that's why I really loved um, the Halo Reach progression system. Now, what do I want to see? What I would love to see in the... Ooh, dang. Ow. Ooh. That hurt. Just watching that just hurt. Um, but anyways, uh, what I want to see in the, the next progression system, number one, is longevity. I want it to last a while. But uh, yeah, you totally deserve that tea bag, by the way. Um, I want the longevity. I want that there to be there so I can have a good time and ranking it up. And uh, number two, I want the military ranks to come back. I want to see that ranking up. And number three, I want them to see, I want them to be individualized to the playlist. Now that may have, may have to adjust the um, ranking up system in those playlists versus an overall ranking system. And the last thing I really want to see um, is actually very specific unlocks to maxing out a playlist. Like say, 
you uh, you achieve uh, let's let's just say like team double or team slayers, basic team slayers. You play team slayers and you get to a rank of major. And when you get to major, it unlocks a um, it unlocks like a helmet or something uh, that is specific to team slayer that uh, you can use at that point. And then let's say you get to the rank of you know. That's us say field marshal, and then it unlocks a chess piece, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but it's specific to that playlist. You can only attain that through that playlist. Now you could still have your random generated stuff like weapon skins. Even even that you could even add into. Uh, thanks, teammate. <laughs> even that you can even add uh, into um, your random generated rec cards and stuff like that. If that's going to be a thing in the future as well, but. Um, that's what I would love to personally see. I totally hit that snipe. Did you see that? That that was that was total BS. But that's I think would be awesome because number one, you'd have longevity. You would have unlockable things that you can earn, which I think Halo 5 is just extremely lacking right now. And then you would have stuff that would just be fun uh, to get and to show off uh, your 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 uh, armors and your weapon skins, etc., whatever they want to add, and you know that that person earned that. And some of the, that's why I think I don't care for the rec system in Halo Five because it's completely random. There's only like a couple things that you can unlock specifically, like the Helio Scroll, and yet you had to do a legendary run of all the games uh, in. Um, uh, Master Chief collection and that's that was actually fun to earn but then again at the end of the day you lost it or it was uh, also in a random generator so but anyways that's my thoughts guys this game here is about to wrap up I hope you enjoyed some of the fun of old Halo Reach this is the Cray Spartan and I am out of here comment like and subscribe